This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on here. Collision type. So let's see. Run. Ah, get your bag thing. Also known as a suitcase. Wait a minute. What? Oh, all right. Collision types. There are four types of collisions that we use in game lab. This is true. We use displace, collide, bounce, and bounce off. These blocks will cause a certain type of interaction between the sprite and its target. Yes. And keep in mind, when you hover over them, you can always click on, well, here, collide, and or and see example. And it'll give you a ton of info. They'll even demo each one of these. You can do this for any block, so always be aware of that. All right, do this. Choose the best block to make the child push the suitcase. Show me where. You can try the blocks out or read. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and just start trying them, honestly. So I get that the child's approaching this and then it moves. So my first thought is, I don't know, maybe it bounces, right? It doesn't. But okay, so I'm going to say when the kid uh, and the target would be the suitcase, right? We don't have sprites and targets. We have some a variable named kid and a variable named suitcase. Let's see what happens. So the draw function. Whoa, that was weird. The draw loop runs 30 times a second. Let me just And, oh, oh, and the kid stops. So the draw loop runs 30 times a second. Keep in mind, there's a hidden conditional. And what I mean by that is a hidden if statement inside each of these. So inside of bounce, bounce off, collide, and displace. What the if statement is, is if whoever, if our child sprite is touching the suitcase, then it does an action. So this method has a hidden if. This bounce method, this bounce has a hidden if statement that's saying, hey, are they touching? Hey, are they touching? Hey, are they touching? And with the draw function or the draw loop running 30 times a second, we are checking 30 times a second if they are touching. If they are, whatever word we have here, it's a method, but whatever word we have here, bounce, bounce off, collide, displace, happens. So in this one, the child will stop moving, but the package or a suitcase does move. And that is because the child was already moving to the left. So if pressure is applied backwards, if the child bounces off a bit, the child's just going to stop moving entirely. There went the pressure, the force that was going towards the left. Okay, so now let's do, I don't know, let's do a displace and same deal. Kid, what's our target? Let's try suitcase. Oh, wait a minute, that's looking good. Okay, and this would make sense, right? Because what's happening here, displace, what happens? The kid is going to displace the suitcase. It will push the suitcase. Now, if I flipped these, let's see. So, and the reason I'm saying that is keep in mind that if you do them backwards, not all of these behave the same way. So notice that the suitcase is not going to be displacing the kid. Well, it kind of is. It stops them. But there's no pressure. There's no force. Whereas the kid will move the suitcase because the kid has force already. So make sure you get those in the right order. Cool. Onward.